Good morning guys, welcome back to our chauffeur service. Pick this up right at the door. Gabby's coming, Sophie's coming. We're going to do something fun today. Uh, why didn't you trust the horses? Sam just fed the horses lunch. I did it, I went in front of the... Because they wouldn't let Gracie eat. Will just chase Gracie around. Oh, oh like and then, the so you and, left them out today? And then, yeah, there. And then I put food out by the door for Gracie, and then Penny started getting involved and kicking and so, running. And so they've been okay with Gracie. And no, no, I just feed Gracie by the door. They don't like Gracie. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes. Anytime there's three, three is a crowd, which is not a good sign for us, to be honest. I Three is a crowd. Everybody always gangs up on one person. It's like the world is at this big, huge. Into into the arena, and Willow came in attacking Gracie. <laughs> just out of the blue. Just yeah. Of so day. it might be because they've stayed inside for two days. Maybe keeping them inside was a bad idea. But like it though, it, everything seems better now. There's more snow on the ground, and it's settled, and it's like, is it still icy, Sam? Well, I dumped a bunch of salt yesterday, so it's all. It's all eaten away, anyway, good morning and welcome it to today's video. Today we are racing to the barn, not racing. We always take time on Saturday mornings because we are always up so early during the week for school and all that stuff. Oh my god, I have a tiny bit less money in my hand right now than Sophia has in her like bank account. Wow. Okay. So basically, we decided to uh, place our horses together. We've been trying to do it really slow. You guys know, if you haven't been following along, then you probably don't know. But basically, we have at our lesson barn, we have two horses in together. We have Chino and Finn. And then we also have another horse, Storm, who's joined the lesson program at that barn. They're leasing him and he does lessons there for them. And now we're also, Gabby is also leasing another horse and it's Grayfin. So now we have three horses in our, oh wait, this is so confusing, you guys. I understand if you don't get it. But basically, we're adding a Gabby's lease horse into the paddock with our other horses that we ride at the barn. Our show horses, if that makes sense. So we're, we've been doing it really slowly and we've been introducing them in a controlled setting. Like we introduce them in the arena where we can watch them and the footing is good. We introduce them a few times in there and they know each other from over the fence. So their whole entire time at that barn, they've known each other because they wrestle and play over the fence. And they seem to be doing okay. It makes me nervous. The, the ground is better today. Like everything is settled a bit better. And I'll show you when we get there, but our horses field is not super icy it's just like in driveways and areas where you like drive that got really icy so we're gonna move Grayfin in with our boys today and we're really excited are you excited Gabby not really why because it's cold yeah are you excited Sophie I found a cool point where are we going now to the gas station all right all right, that was a lie. I'm not excited. I have anxiety about it. No matter how much you try to make it go good, there's always one horse kind of left out, like Gracie, and it makes me nervous because I want them all to be able to eat. Yeah, it's gonna be great, Finn. No, it's gonna be Palomino Finn. You think it's gonna be Palomino Finn? Pally Finn. We should call him Pally Finn. No, 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 no. Nobody ever likes my ideas. Well, anyway, we are driving there now, and we'll get back to you as soon as we get there, and we'll figure it all out. I think I have some ideas of how to make the transition a little bit easier, and uh, wish us luck, you guys. You are on grain duty. Sam is at our backyard grain station. So, Grayfin, I put all the bags in there. I'll get you more. Grayfin, we're gonna move him over to our grain now. Like we're actually like trying to make Grayfin into our horse now, you guys. It took a little bit of while because of the weather. If I slip and fall here. Yeah, the weather is so much better. A lot of the ice is melted. But there's oddly. ice underneath snow still. Yeah, ice underneath snow still. There's like barely there. Oh, I have an apple. Do I have any treats? Treats. This is gonna go well. We need treats. Got one lonely apple. So the girls are gonna go. Are you gonna go with her and get Gray Finn? You have to come here too. Hi Finn. We're bringing a friend. If you guys can see, I don't know, I'll show you guys in a minute. I'll show you guys in a minute the, the snow in there. It just seems better. You know what's funny though? Is that Kino spends all of his free time away from the hay with the other horse. 
with the other horses over the fence. Brandon said Chino has a little tiny cut on his neck because he plays so much. Yeah, ice is everywhere. Never again. Never again will Grayson have to. Oh, he's eating. I hate to take him away from his food. And this is so stressful. This is so skates. stressful. Not because of the ice, but because like putting a, hor a horse in with other horses. Because you're the one that's stressing about everything. Yeah, I do. I stress and worry about everything. I always have. Okay. Do it How again. the hell are we getting across that? Do it again. How the Ooh, heck? I like that. Nice slide. All right, go get your horse, sister. Oh, we have an axe. Watch if we get attacked by the horses because hey, the bull will just come running out of nowhere. Be careful. You see the foal? So, all the horses are out there with Gray Finn staring at Sophie. I love that about horses, how they just like stand there and eat and then they're like, it's yeah, it's windy. And then they're like, I was getting pushed by the wind. So curious. I wanted to tell you guys this little story. This story about how like we have a friend and the friend bought this horse and the horse was not the best horse. The horse was, she the girl loved the horse. She just loved this horse so much. And the parents were like, mm, I don't think this is the right horse. It was really expensive. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't the exact horse that they wanted for their daughter. Was it my pony? No, it wasn't us. Oh. And uh, but the girl really wanted this horse so they overpaid for this horse so many people told them don't get this horse don't get this horse don't get this horse and when we were trying to figure out what we were going to do with Gray Finn my friend told me the story about you know it's not always about the best fit the best horse the perfect horse it's about your journey and it's about your heart and it's about what feels right to you and the only people that can decide that is you and there was so much pressure when we were deciding about Gray Finn. We got distracted. Does that make sense? Like there was just so much input coming in which we thank you guys for. Like so many of you guys tell, say things in the comments that make us think about things that we wouldn't have even thought about. Like having so many people's opinions sometimes is really hard, but it's also really good because it helps us to think things that we would never think of, different perspectives. So anyways, these parents bought this horse for this kid and it's been amazing and they've adapted their journey to fit this horse and they've never looked back and it's just been this beautiful journey with their daughter and this horse that they didn't think was the right fit and so, I'm telling you the story because we bought Gray Finn. No, just joking. We did not buy Gray Finn. Gray Finn is so expensive. But I'm telling you the story because it is our intention to buy Gray Finn. It is our intention if it continues to work out. Oh, go slow. Go slow. He's like, I do not like this. Go fast. You broke the blanket strap already. You broke the blanket strap already. He's like, I know you have cookies or apples. I can't even watch. Slippery. So anyways, we, oh, <laughs> horses everywhere. Okay, so distraction here for a second. This is the horse that is also ours for anybody who's new. This is our also our boy, Stormy Knight. He's Gabby's very first horse ever and he is a dream boy. Hey, don't you kick. I'm telling people that you're a dream boy. And we love him and he is making so many little kids happy right now. Hi, Storm. Yeah, you're so good. We get walking here, he'll start to drag. Come on. It's like I don't want to do it. This is nerve-wracking. This makes me so nervous. Brandon offered to put them together today, this morning, and I was like, "Eh, we want to be there because I want to throw some hay on the ground." So that if Gryphon gets pushed off the hay, he still has some place he can go and eat. So, what's the plan? We just put him in, let him go. All right. They've met each other before. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it a lot. Make sure his blanket's on good. Yeah, it's on. I fixed it. He broke it. He broke it. Oh, Whoa. here comes Chino. Uh oh. Trouble already. Have fun. Have fun. Watch out. Watch out because look, 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 look.
fucking hang. Yeah. But they have hay. He knows where the water is and they'll introduce him to the water. Yeah. Oh, well. He's just looking for <laughs> Goldfin's like, help, there's a new boat. Stuff like is going down. Yeah, he's the odd one out. He's always the odd one out. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, Sophie. She slid. I did the oh same God. thing. I was like, what the hell? I was going down. Right, well, they're eating. Oh, <laughs> so at least she didn't grab onto me because... She grabbed the whole fence. Yeah, the whole fence. All right, well, Chino's like, see ya, Finn. <laughs> You're not a part of our group anymore. That's so sad. Tall, tall skinny group. Other than there's Finn. Yeah. Hey, well, I mean... He's not He's skinny, but Chino's not skinny. Like, I don't know where people are, why people are saying this. Gabby, you gotta go fix Chino's blanket too. Aww. And he can still. No, you should just go in. And you can also go, like, he can also see his friends still. You can hang out with me. Hi. Hello. Okay, I'm coming in moose. Careful, Sophia. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I have an apple. Look. Got a little cut on your neck. Is that from yesterday? No. All just all the hair is off. Hi, you. Yeah. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. You know, he doesn't care. Okay. So clearly, all that matters is the food. Okay. So wait, Gabby, can you give him a bite of this apple, and then we'll share it with all of them? We need it in three bites. See, our horses know the drill. They know that when they come to us, well, it means well, happiness. My horses eat it. Can you bite it? I don't like biting into apples. Me either. Yeah, we, we are fancy. We eat apples with knives. <laughs> <laughs> They're like licking their lips. Hurry here. That's Apparently all you I. Can cut it with your finger. Yeah. Just like all right. Put it down it. and do it. Well, there's nothing to cut Why don't you just step on it? Why don't you just step on it? A heart. No, it's up on the All house. right, let's see what you're gonna no, do. No, this is gonna hurt really bad. The only person I know who can do this is Dad. They're waiting. We gotta throw some hay on the ground for. Ah, oh, good job, Gabby. There's one. Yeah, and then just break that one. It didn't actually hurt because my fingers are frozen. Okay, hurry up. Oh, good right, job. Can I get my pony a piece? Two got the biggest. Uh oh. <laughs> Be careful, it's slippery. I learned. Aww. So, this is the grain. I told Sam not to bring it because he slid yesterday. A couple of days ago, no, yesterday, he drove down to our barn. And when he drove down there, he stepped out of the car and fell right on his back. and bent his knee in half and he's got bad knees. So I told him I will bring it because it's all ice. All right, so that's it. That's our grain for the next few days. This is Chino's and this is Finn and Gray Finn. And because we're starting Gray Finn off slowly because we don't want to over tax his system. So Finn and Finn are both going to get this and slowly we're going to add, uh, we're going to change Finn and Chino over to this. So right now, Finn and Finn and eventually Finn and Chino.
Yeah, poor, poor Goldfin. But to be honest, Goldfin could use a bit of a diet. <laughs> Wouldn't, wouldn't it be awesome though if you needed a diet and just somebody kept pushing you away from the food for a few days and then poof you're skinny? Aww. Hey. Chino. Chino is the boss of Goldfin. Everyone's the boss of him. Ha, Chino. Careful right there, Mom. <laughs> It's really good. No, place. right there. We're at the skid market. Yeah, that's where it's always It's the only spot with ice on it, too, by the fence. Yeah. Finn, I'm sorry, honey. Hey, she know, be oh, nice fine. to him. I know. That one gets bullied. And no matter what field he's in, he gets bullied. Unless he's fine. No, I find Finn really good. No, Finn always gets bullied. But, he, but he's in the middle. I find Finn in the middle. Our horses clearly associate us with food. All right, I think that's it, you guys. I think we're done. We could ride today, but like I said, before the barn is completely frozen, it's really difficult. We are gonna start riding again this week. The whole world's in. They know we're watching. <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. Those are our boys now. And Storm, he's still our boy. I know a lot of you guys are confused and concerned about Stormy Boy, but he's still our boy. He's just a lesson horse right now. Uh, yeah, he's doing great and happy. You guys saw him. He's happy. Don't you know that you're